Hey, what is going on today? We have a new crypto project called Market Move, and we have the developer, Michael, in the hot seat with you and me today. This is an opportunity to find out, hey, is this guy going to scam us? Is this a project that we could spend our hard-earned money and time investing into? If you're new to this channel, my name is Aaron. I'm on a journey to two Bitcoins and trying to help as many people earn their first Bitcoin as possible possible so don't forget to like follow along with the saloon and the telegram and the uh, and the youtube channel and all of the above look there are so many scammers out there especially on youtube these guys are a little shady because they'll just take a pro project like a, a new crypto project and take a developer's money and just read the website and it does nothing for you and me especially when we're trying to do some research so what i've decided to do is decide to come up with a win-win-win strategy for for everybody the developer gets to hop on a video, use a platform, and really present their project with a lot of insight, with a lot of uh, wisdom and knowledge and energy. And uh, I get to be compensated and get to grill them with questions. And you and I, this is the third win, you and I get the best source of information, whether or not this is something that we should be investing a hard-earned money or time into. So if you're watching this video or listening to this podcast, we want to welcome you to this developer interview of Market Move with the developer, Michael in the hot seat today. Mm -hmm. What's going on, Michael? Hi, man. So yeah, I'm really excited to know. Hello, everyone. Basically, I've watched Aaron, you know, for quite some time. Uh, you know, I think he's a great guy, you know, great content. So definitely, you know, make sure to smash that, you know, subscribe button, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we, we can, you know, uh, we can start this thing, you know. I appreciate it. Yeah. So let's get right into it. Before we even get into Market Move and what that's about, I want to know what you're about. Tell me who you are and what kind of background you come into the crypto space. Cool. So, you know, actually, I think I can share my screen if that's okay, uh, okay. To, to show you some things. But, um, you know, just not to bore you to death, uh, I will make it quick. So uh, the first thing, you know, uh, my background is basically from the AI industry. I've been, you know, running, a, uh, I've been running an AI consulting firm for like a few years, you know, uh, some cool, you know, some <laughs> some cool. Maybe okay. Let's let's not show this. But basically, uh, basically, what was the thing is that um, I've seen many different solutions in the AI space. You know, developed for like Fortune 500 companies. Uh, by the way, just to show you, this is one of our clients with the testimonial. You know, uh, the company is called Novartis from a director director of data science. Uh, you know, the company is currently uh, ranked. You know, 218th. Uh, on the Fortune 500. And, you know, the idea was that at one point uh, I was really, you know, I was really um, getting interested in, in crypto. It was like, you know, two years ago or so. I started investing, you know, uh, on Binance, like some Bitcoin, you know, Ethereum and so on. Uh, you know, and this year, you know, uh, my friend told me, man, you have to check out, you know, Binance. It's really cool. You know, a lot of uh, cool coins, you know, you can uh, do some quick gains and so on. Uh, but basically, uh, what was the problem is that, first of all, uh, for me, the entry barrier was really hard, you know, so uh, I literally, you know, installed Trust Wallet, the first thing, you know, man, what do I, what do, I do now, you know, uh, how to buy these tokens, you know, and uh, the first thing is what, you know, uh, I bought tokens for like uh, worst price, let's say, you know, on Trust Wallet, I didn't, didn't even know, you know, how to do it. Uh, then, you know, uh, I've gotten into like this pancake swap, you know, and so on. And I was like, okay, slippage. So, you know, probably the more you put, the better, you know. So, okay, let's go with like 90% slippage and so on. You know, let's say a few months later, uh, I've been doing my research, you know, I've, uh, I've been trying to learn everything. And, you know, it literally took me hundreds of hours to, to learn everything. Okay, so let's say how not to get scammed. You know, you have like, for example, Honeybots, you, so you cannot sell your, to sell your tokens. Uh, you know, I've learned that there is, you know, this solidity version like, uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.17, uh, which can basically mean a, a Hannibal, you know, you have some blacklist function. So I, I really dive deep into, into the whole process, um, you know, just to learn it. And, um, you know, I have a, I have a few friends, few colleagues from, you know, companies like Google, you know, companies like Micron technology and so on. Uh, they've been investing in, in the crypto space as well. Uh, I've, you know, I've talked them into investing on the BSC and they had, you know, exact same impressions. So first of all, it's a wild west, you know, like with your hat, you know, wild west. 
basically, uh, not regulated, you know, no tools out there to help investors, you know, to help uh, people who are just getting started to first, you know, invest in a safe way. Uh, second, you know, learn how to invest, then track their investments. Uh, so what we came up with, you know, with combining like this uh, AI knowledge, let's say from from my perspective, uh, we have also Adam. He's you know he's our CTO. He has been previously working at Google, you know, as a senior uh, machine learning engineer. A few other guys, and it was like, guys, guys, let's group up. Let's put this whole knowledge, you know, from the from the finance uh, industry, you know, from the AI industry, and let's put it into crypto. Let's start with the BSC because it's a wild west, you know. Uh, so many bad things happening. Let's change that, you know, then move on to, to other to other blockchains. So, you know, this is how the whole thing started. Let's say that uh, the the idea came through like, you know, six months ago, I think, something like this. Uh, then the, the project itself started like just over one week ago, you know. So it's pretty crazy. It's, you know, it's pretty fresh. Uh, yeah. And, you know, what we are trying to build is uh, a one-stop solution for investment. So uh, basically... Uh, from, you know, from fighting new tokens, not only based, you know, on some uh, price action or something. We will use AI to basically scan the whole internet, including Telegram, Reddit, you know, Twitter, everything, uh, combine this with the blockchain data, and then you would be able, you know, to find these tokens. So let's say with AI, you are able to do something like, okay, the, the Telegram group uh, number tripled in the last 24 hours. A lot of influencers on Twitter, you know, are... Uh, are posting about it, so, you know, the price is going up, then you have this token. Uh, but, you know, at this point, you don't really know if it's safe, you don't really know, you know, if it's worth investing, because there are so many, you know, scams around con artists, you know. So, uh, the, the next thing, we provide AI-driven contract audits, AI-driven pre-sale audits, you know, basically, you put a, con you, put a you know, uh, contract address, bam, it gets scanned, Act automatically, you know, it's uh, it provides you with a score. Let's say, okay, so this is probably safe to invest. It explains you, it, it explains to you, you know, uh, these functions in the contract are, are, you know, probably shady, probably like, you know, this is uh, connected to Honeybot. You know, this can be, for example, there is a function called sweep used to basically take the whole liquidity out of the contract. You know, just normal people don't know that, you know, I haven't known this myself. And I've spent, you know, like hundreds of hours, literally, you know, to, to learn this. Fortunately, I have been, you know, able to uh, not get scammed even once, but it took so much time, you know, to, to do that. For Honeypots, you know, I was, I was really, you know, pumped up, you know, man, this token is so great, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, looking so cool. But then, you know, there is a, a launch on PancakeSwap. I see only buys, no sells. So I'm like, okay, man, cool down. Let's watch it, you know, and, you know, basically a Honeypot, you know. Uh, so what we want to do, you know, and what uh, even not what we want to do, but what we've been doing, because we actually have a front end of the application ready, you know, some, some initial features ready, uh, is to provide, you know, investors of different levels, you know, from the very early investors who don't even know uh, what liquidity is uh, to like, you know, senior investors, let's say more experienced people, uh, a tool which will allow you to find new gems, you know, to analyze them, uh, for do some risk assessment then limit orders, stop loss orders, social media trackers, you know, whale trackers. And the cool thing is that, you know, we've actually built such solutions previously in the, in the finance space. So this is nothing new. It's, it's new to the crypto space, which is, you know, which is still growing, which is still, uh, let's say, uh, evolving. But, you know, for like big firms around the, around the world, you know, this is like, you know, nothing, nothing new. It's like, you know, five or 10 years of, of, of you know, using such tools. So yeah, that's, that's the idea, basically. Okay, so let me get this straight. Your you, market move is a tool for l different levels of investors from beginning to advance, and basically, its number one solution, the number one goal, is to find viable investments in crypto. How it does that is it uses AI technology to to aggregate different sources of information influencers, social media, BSC charts, um, uh, coin market cap, all these sources of it, Reddit, you said, uh, Twitter, and it pulls all these information, all this information out there. And then, and then it what delivers it to you on a, on a dashboard in an email or an app. 
how does that work? Does it, is yeah, it exactly. So, so we'll start with uh, a desktop app, you know, then move it to uh, to mobile. But basically, mm, you know, I have uh, I have actually a few cool screenshots I can share with you. So basically, uh, let me share my screen once again. Just a second. Mm, window. Mm, got it. Three per side. So basically, uh, you can have a look here. You know, let's say I will just zoom out a bit. Here's the application, you know, so we have a simple solution. Uh, you have a search board. Basically, you can search for like new cool tokens, analyze their price, you know, combined with social media because the price itself does not mean a thing, you know. But if you combine this with data from the internet, you know, then you're good to go. Once you find this token, you want to make sure that you are safe, you know, that you can invest in it. So we have AI contract audit. You know, if you go to there, basically... Okay. Uh, I have a few screenshots ready, you know, but I let me actually maybe show you here how it looks like uh, on a specific example. Okay, so here we are. Um, let me zoom in a bit. Um, you know, so so this is an example of an actual token we've analyzed with the tool. So basically, it was it was called Green Lake. It was a honeypot, you know. Uh, and what we are showing here is, for example. The solidity version is, you know, uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.17, which can result in a honeypot. It's usually 100% sure, you know, because uh, why would you use that version, you know, if you have like 0 0.8, point, let's say X, you know, the new version. Uh, you have the function only owner, meaning that basically, uh, you know, mm, the owner can mint, you know, so can, he can, you know, let's say add as many tokens as he, as, as he likes and, you know, uh, print them, you know, then dump them, some unused functions. So with this tool, you know, we'll be able to basically uh, check this, you know, and even if you are not tech savvy, so we'll be able to understand what's going on in the contract, you know. Uh, so it's it's really cool. How we use okay. that, how we do that is that we use uh, a solution called BERT. That's basically an algorithm, uh, an AI, AI algorithm developed by Google, um, which which, you know, scraped, so downloaded the whole internet, you know, uh, the whole, let's say, uh, I'm not even joking, you know, the whole internet, like hundreds of millions, you know, of data of like news articles and so on, uh, you know, but that's, uh, that's, you know, that's one point. But how do you use this for crypto? So basically what we've done is that we add to this bird, you know, our own proprietary algorithms, you know, um, to, to make sure that this can understand, you know, things like, let me actually search for this, you know, uh, that this can actually understand things like, you know, uh, hodl, you know, to the moon and so on, which normal birds would not understand. So we've managed, uh, but by, you know, uh, manually tagging, you know, so basically we, we downloaded some data, some news, manually tagged them, and the algorithm is, you know, specifically tailored to crypto. We've called this crypto bird, you know. This is how it works. Uh, but just maybe I will come back to the application. So once you know, you've analyzed the contract, then, you know, you've bought the token, you want to track it, and that it takes so much time, you know, you know it yourself. Even for one token, you have to go to the Telegram group, you know, watch Reddit, watch, you know, everything. Here, you just click on the social media tracker. You have everything in one place. You have the sentiment analysis. So let's say uh, you can, with this tool, uh, make sure that, you know, the sentiment towards the, the coin is positive. Let's say... People are, you know, really hyped up, you know, and many tweets talking positive about this. Or people are not sure, you know, Telegram uh, group is dropping. So with this, you will be able to do that. There is also a swap function. This is not an exchange because, you know, there is, uh, there are, you know, so many exchanges at the moment. We don't want to be another one. This is a thing, I think, which is cool, uh, which will allow you to, to choose the best trade from different exchanges, you know. For example, you have some tokens which are BSC based, which are Ethereum based, you know, then they do some breach, you know, and with this, you will be able to find the best rate. You have some limit orders, stop loss orders. So some, uh, some, you know, standard things for stop loss orders. I think it's cool to mention that it will be intelligent. So it, it's basically an improved version of Binance stop loss orders because we take into consideration the volume. And if the volume is low, so your stop loss order can get deactivated. Let's say one whale was to dump, you know. 20% price, uh, so the, let's say the price goes down by 20%. And in this case, you can s set like specific, you know, uh, specific rules. Okay, I don't want to sell if it's cost only by one seller, you know, because usually a whale dumps, you know, people buy back, you know, if it's a good token, buy back really fast. 
and you get trapped. In this case, we will prevent that. You have also Whale Watcher, um, so the, the last feature you know uh, from the initial development, because we will obviously you know take take into consideration community feedback, add new features. Uh, Whale Watcher is basically a tool showing you top holders, like similar to BSC Scan, but basically not only showing you those holders with you know the tokens, because the tokens, the numbers itself, uh, don't really mean anything, but Next to each holder, you will have something like price impact. So similar to pancake swap, you, you see this in on pancake, pancake swap. So if this whale was, was to dump, so what would be the price impact? You can also click on a whale, you know, and see on the timeline, you know, specific, you know, simple timeline. Okay, this is uh, when he bought first at which price, you know, you can be, you can with this tool, you know, you'll be able to basically do everything you are doing manually. You know, we are doing with some tools uh, out there which are not really sophisticated, which can't really, you know, help you that much. You'll be able to do everything in one place. You know, learn about this, how to invest, you know, minimize your risk. And, you know, uh, basically just, you know, just just invest uh, carelessly, maybe, maybe not carelessly, but, you know, in a more more informed manner, you know. So that's okay. that's the that's the thing, you know. Sorry for sorry for barring into that, you know. With with this no no no. So I'm looking at the tools here, and I'm just gonna run down it really quickly. You have a stop loss tool, you know that you know just set things automatically. You have a audit tool that could you know break down the, the code of the audit, right? Like the audit, like if it says some kind of gibberish, it breaks it down into simple terms, and it'll tell you exactly what's going on here. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, you have a swap. Uh, but it's not like a exchange. A swap is finding the best rates on all the different exchanges. You have a whale watcher wallet that shows the holders, uh, the, you know, the big holders and stuff. And if they were to dump, price impact on everything. The, the the catch is that it's all on one dashboard, so you don't have to kind of piecemeal everything together. Uh, exactly. And this is all. This is nothing new. It's just this something that a tool that someone could use, especially if they're a brand new investor or you know an ex seasoned uh, investor. It's just more user-friendly it's just an app or dap rather to have everything on here is that about right yeah yeah that's, that's right you know uh, i think what's uh, also important to mention is that some people uh, were asking us you know comparing us to like both finance you know tools like this and i think it's really you know there's a tool called drag screen also uh which you know i've used i'm not really satisfied with it but basically those tools are rule-based so in IT, it means that they don't use any AI. They use a simple, you know, statements. Let's say, if the liquidity is ninety percent, then it's good. If it's less, then it's bad. You know, but these tools cannot keep up because, let's say, you've heard about token, you know, Everrise, for example, like this buyback mechanism. You know, it, it let's say it comes out today. Those tools just don't know what to do with it. You know. With AI, you will be able to, you know, to spot this, you know, some new patterns and it will be like, okay, guys, maybe look closer at this new function, which hasn't been, you know, used previously. And the second thing is that users will be able to flag this, you know, uh, flag this, let's say, shady uh, functions in the code themselves. Then it would get fed back into the algorithm, you know, to for the AI to, to learn basically new things. Also, we have some Solidity developers, you know, working daily, uh, analyzing new contracts and they also feed back feed that back into the algorithm you know because basically for ai the data is king you know and this way you know with ai ai can actually you know stay up to date and even if every single day you know some new function comes up you know buyback function you know uh, let's say some reflections to holders like with safe moon with this you will be able to understand what's going on you know before you invest because from my perspective, I really respect, you know, coins like Safemoon and so on. Uh, but from the from the technical side, they had some flaws, you know. For example, I don't know, it wasn't Safemoon, but there was a coin which had a burn address, you know, which was getting reflections. They be like 90% or 95% burn, you know. So basically all the reflections which were supposed to go to holders, uh, you know, were going, were going to the burn address. So with this tool, you will be able to understand. Okay, you know, so this is like a blacklist function, and and we've been we've been talking, you know, something like with this with this tool, even your grandpa, you know, or grandma will be able to understand what's a honey dot, you know. So, so that's that's the case. Right, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. I, so you're saying that here's what you're saying that there are other tools out there, like you said, bug finance and drag screen. I've never heard of these before, but they're very limited in scope because they have rules. They function off of rules, and so if something 
enters into the market with an outside of those rules, they can't, they don't know what to do with it. However, exactly, your exactly. platform market move uses AI and that stays up to date. It's always learning and, and growing yeah. and, and I can able to I, di decipher new, new protocols. Is that exactly. Right? So I, I can give you a, you know, I can give you a simple example, you know, for example, you have this function in the contract called sweep. Uh, it allows. Yeah, you were to, telling me about this. Yeah, it's you know it allows people that developers basically to take the whole liquidity out. You know, I don't want to mention some names, but uh, it's actually in the code of you know a token uh, which was I think like half a million, sorry, half, half a billion market cap at one point. Which and which token? Which token? Uh, so okay, so it's Mini Doge. You can you can check the contract. You know, uh, but basically Mini Doge. Mini Doge, yeah. You know, I can, you know, just to prove my point, I can go to Mini Doge, um, let's say Mini Doge BSC scan, just, just to make sure, you know, I really, I really like Mini Doge, the whole, you know, the whole team, they are great and so on. I think this was like, you know, uh, some, let's say misunderstanding, maybe, maybe they forgot to, uh, maybe they forgot to, you know, um, delete this. But if we go to the contract, let me just, uh, let me just, okay. Uh, let me just show you just to prove my point. So, uh, yeah. Uh, tell me if you can see the contract. Can you see the contract? Uh, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. So basically this, this is Mini Doge, you know, uh, officially Mini Doge, you know, with the logo, if you go to the contract, if you s s search for function sweep, it's there, you know, external only owner, meaning that, you know, developers can use it anytime they like. Bam, no liquidity, you know. Uh, wow. You know, and you know, it's you know, I I wouldn't I wouldn't suspect them because they are you know they are really good guys. You know, I I like I like the whole idea. I've invested it myself. But you know, there are so many let's say uh, dangerous situations which people are not even aware of. You know, even in even you know uh, let's say uh, investors who are really experienced. So with this tool, let's say just to give you a, a short example, you know, a small example. Uh, let's say you have a function sweep in the contract. Someone does this on purpose, you know, some scan coin and changes the name from sweep to like reflections. A rule-based system would just be, yeah, you know, we have reflections. It's really right, cool. Yeah. And, you know, because it, it's based basically on something like, okay, if you have a name sweep in the contract, it's bad. If you have reflections, it's cool. With AI, AI would be able to spot this. Okay, the name is different, yeah. but the function does the same purpose, which is, you know, removing mm -hmm. liquidity. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's the case. We, we really, you know, uh, we really, uh, let's say dive deep into, into the whole blockchain. Uh, I, I think it's also important to mention that by the way, you know, we, I'm not a special specialist from, you know, from, from blockchain. Uh, I, I'm pretty new, but we surround, surround ourselves, you know, with really uh, cool people. So our blockchain advisor at the moment, uh, it's a guy who has been working with Cardano, who has been working with Chainlink, you know, so he, he was able to tell us, you know, guys, so this is how you need to do your contract. You know, basically, uh, basically we have a pre-sale in two, two days, you know, basically Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday 25th at 10 a.m. Eastern before the pre-sale, we will have a tech rate audit. We'll have solidity finance audit audited by this guy from Cardano. And also, you know, the, the liquidity percent will be 90% locked for 10 years. We are going for years with this, you know. Um, so you got yeah. two auditors, two external auditors on you. Yeah, two, two external audits before the pre-sale, you know. And then awesome. after, after the pre-sale, the, the CERTIC audit will follow. Unfortunately, you know, uh, we wanted to, to have free audits, you know, just to go ham. But uh, CERTIC, so you know. pre-sale right now. Yeah, yeah, Certic, Certic is really busy, you know, uh, it takes like four weeks to, to, to complete this. So, you know, nevertheless, we have like, you know, two, two companies, the Solidity Finance is, is really yeah. cool, you know, uh, they are pretty new, let's say, but really good quality. Yeah, so, you know, this is, this is how we want to do this, to do this. Gotcha. You know? So, I, this reminds me of, a, of another project called Sonar. Have you heard of it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've heard about them, you know, I really like the idea. Uh, basically, I think they they hit like uh, more than 100 million uh, market cap. Uh, but the thing oh. is, they also don't use AI. Mm, mm. Just you know, I, I don't want you know, I don't want to to you know uh, go to war with anyone because from my perspective, there with with BSC with crypto, how early it is for like some cool tools. Uh, there is a place for everything, you know. 
uh, but but sonar i really like the idea you know i really like the and the whole concept, but you know, uh, from my perspective, it seems it seems similar to me. You know what I mean? Like it seems like I'm I'm an external. <laughs> I'm not part of the Sonar team. Sure, I, sure. I just interviewed them. Like it. So like as an investor, I'm looking at the whole market, and I'm like, cool. Well, there's this thing called Sonar out here. It seems to be doing really well, and it seems to do some of the same stuff. You now, I haven't looked at it in a while, so I don't know if they do like contract audits or i wonder uh, have have they have like were they able to release a product you know fully functional product no they, i know this they, they plan on releasing q1 okay so yeah yeah yeah. you know the the thing is uh i think this is you know a very bad thing in crypto and you know in the whole it development thing uh, okay. so the people wait you know wait for so long before releasing anything and uh, we want to you know, basically, our plan is to release the first functions of this in September. Uh, oh. by, the end, by, by the end of September, you will have the first features. Why do we want to do that? It's called a continuous development. So you release like first one feature, first two features. The community uses that, you know, gives you feedback. Okay, it's cool, but how about we change this to that? And based on that, you can develop the tool with the community, you know. For the sonar, I really like the idea, uh, but you know this is my personal opinion. Obviously, and just just to let you know, this is not an opinion of our team, just my personal opinion as an investor. But I think that they won't be able to you know to to stay on the market for too long because uh, they claim to they claim to to be using AI, but mm, it's not really AI. There are you know rules. Uh, from my perspective, they don't want to disclose any intellectual property from the from the let's say. Uh, tech, tech, tech. Let's say tech, tech giants' perspective for like some new projects. Um, you know, it's always a good practice to release. You know, the tech in the white paper. If you go to our white paper, we even before raising this presale, we want it to be fully transparent. Okay, guys, this is how we do it. We use Google Bert. We use GPT three uh, by OpenAI. You know, and this is basically a tool um, which which currently allows you, for example, to generate blog posts. So this this will be used to you know. To help people, like you know, to type something, maybe help them, you know, with searching for tokens and so on. We disclose everything, you know. So I really like the idea, but I think that the future is is AI, not even the crypto space, but basically, you know, uh, you are using Snapchat, you are using Instagram, those you know, cool filters, uh, analyzing your face, you know, changing this to a cat or something. Yeah. This is AI, man. You know, uh, you are using Google, searching for some things. You are, let's say, what is the difference between Market Move and Sonar? Google uses BERT, you know, the same thing we are using to show you, to, you know, to show this thing. So uh, just, to, just to wrap this up. So uh, I support those guys. I support every project, you know, uh, which aims to, to change this industry, to make it a safer place. Uh, but, you know, from my personal perspective, it, it cannot be enough with how, how, fat, how fast, you know, the whole market is evolving. You know, with yourself, somebody told me like, you know, man, one day on the BSC equals like one month in real life. You know, yeah. so so many things happening. So if you don't yeah. use AI, which can basically track this every second, you know, every 30 seconds, update itself, learn itself. So you will just get outdated, you know, like yeah. let's say, you know, six months from now, there are so many things happening. For example, uh, you know, at the moment you have Cardano, you have, you know, uh, Cardano smart contracts, you have, you know, um, what was it called? Like new protocol of Ethereum. How do you mm -hmm. even keep track of that, you know? So right. I think so I think that very cool feature, which is you know a good hold, let's say holding perspective, a good investment perspective in our tool, is that we will be yep go go ahead. Yeah. So so you're saying here that even though Sonar and any other any one of these bug or drag screen and Sonar versus market move, and you're not trying to I'm just trying to dissect this from an investor's sure. third person. You're saying from your own opinion that they they are operating off of a rule based system that does not evolve versus an ai based system that you're that's like what i'm hearing is the number one difference and you're saying that they i know that their product will launch in q1 of 2022 and you're saying your product will launch initial features will launch by the end of september that's next month it's probably that's, in a month that's now, 30 right. days that's right you know a guy uh, basically one, my employee um, he's uh, he he was previously a chief of data science at, at uh, capgemini he managed to deliver such systems you know which were the deadlines were like for 6 months he managed to deliver those in 2 months 
So I'm sure that with people, you know, from Google, so with Adam, our, our developer, you know, our, our head of AI with, with this merchant, you know, uh, chief of data science from Capgemini, uh, advisors from Cardano, we'll be able to deliver, you know, not, not only like release something, but to release something uh, which people will actually use. Uh, and, you know, just, just, to, just to maybe clarify one, th one thing, I'm not saying that, you know, those tools will not evolve because, you know, that the team is, you know, working on it hard, you know, uh, implementing new features, you know, changing this, but, you know, they have to do this. Uh, they have to really allocate much time to, to do that. AI, on the contrary, once you have a good model with great data and if you, you know, retrain it, you know, use, use more data, you know, uh, more recent examples, it will be just much, much easier for it to stay up to date, you know, with, let's say, little to, to none human in the loop. So that's, that's the main difference. And I think that maybe I will, I will, sell, I will say one more thing is that, you know, uh, we want to start on the BSC, but we want to extend this to other platforms because let's say uh, I'm investing, you know, I've been investing myself, you know, um, on Binance, with, you know, with like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Polygon, and so on. And it's really difficult to track all this information in one place. You yes. have some YouTube channels, you know, I really like, you know, I really like your channel, you know, I really like, like Coin Bureau and so on. Um, they are cool, but, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes other channels can be biased, you know, can be yeah. promoting those coins or just, you know, not do enough research. So with our tool, you will be able to, you know, gather all the information from the internet, from different sources, and let's say take an unbiased decision. You'll be able directly. So, yep. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, so, so you're saying, hold on. I, I don't want to leave the AI section here. I've sure, got sure. a few more questions on it. So, how do you how do you know personally that their platform, Sonar's platform, or Bug or Drag Scheme screen don't operate off of AI? Is yours the only platform that operates uses an AI based system? Bert, this Bert thing. Yeah, so uh, I think, you know, as for Bogged, I've how do I know? I use it myself. Uh, I've used it myself, you know. Uh, and it, it's just, you know, it's just a few rules. I think that the system is great because, you know, uh, they also have like limit orders and so on. But, you know, they don't have, for example, AI-driven audits, you know, and so on. For example, Sonar, okay. you know, have some things that we have but don't have like social media trackers uh, using, using BERT and so on. Uh, okay. How do how do I know for Bokt? You know, I, I've used them myself. Uh, just you know, they don't use AI because they don't need to. You know, they they use no. some uh, they use some features. Let's say like on Binance. You know, Binance doesn't need to use AI. You know, to place a limit order. This is simple. Uh, as for Sonar, actually, uh, you know, just just to make sure, I don't want to you know go to war because I support the project. I even hold some Sonar. You know, something. Uh, but basically, um, you know, the thing I don't like here is they, that they don't want to disclose anything, you know, any... I was about to say, they don't intellectual... disclose the tech and you're disclosing yeah, the tech. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, exactly. Uh, we, you know, we can talk for hours, you know, how, how if we use, you know, uh, you know, F1 score, this is called like, you know, a, a score for establishing, let's say, uh, analyzing the performance of AI models. We can talk for this for hours, you know, and as sure. for Sonar... Uh, Actually, many guys have been messaging us. Guys, we, we've been asking them about the AI and the only answer they, they were getting was like, you know, okay, guys, sorry, this is intellectual property. We want to protect the project, you know, so, so other people don't copy it. It's my personal opinion. I don't like it because, you know, uh, the tech is out there. So even if, you know, if they use, let's say, even if, if they disclose how they do this, you know, for example, okay, guys, we use our own in-house algorithms, you know, to do that. Nobody will be able to copy it because you know the sure. code of the, the code of the application is under you know under drives or something. So this is what I don't like. So you know this is also only my personal opinion, but in my opinion, um, and I, I'm saying I've been investing you know since like two years, since like six months on the BSC. I can say that there is no sophisticated platform currently uh, which uses AI. And if none. someone zero no none, zero, zero zero wow you can wow. you can you can you can okay. find you can find me something you know but basically none from my perspective okay. no none. I got I, one last question on the AI here yeah go ahead you, you, so everything is based basically on this AI system like this this bird the system that you have and how are you getting that AI how are you getting this tech tech so you're saying it's your team these guys who work with Cardano Chainlink and Google how big is your team who's your team that kind of stuff. Help me, help me understand that. 
Cool. Um, yeah, so as for the tag, because before I move to the theme, so it's really simple. It's called scraping, you know, uh, basically download, downloading the information from the internet, you know. So let's say you download, let's say, 10,000 news about crypto. Then you give it to people called uh, data labelers and they are, you know, reading it and like, this is a snippet talking about, you know, about holding, you know, this is a snippet talking about, you know, some, some jargon. Um, this way we can, you know, we can be sure because, you know, we, we use humans, it's called, called basically uh, supervised learning. So basically humans teach machines, you know, uh, how to, let's say, look at these articles. Mm -hmm. um, so this is how we do that. You, you also have something like unsupervised learning when, you know, when you give like a lot of data to the computer, to the, you know, let's say algorithm, and it tries to dis discover some patterns. For example, it's used in cancer discovery, you know, uh, in, you know, in like medical fields, uh, basically um, with some help of humans, supervised learning, but, you know, some, some, some interesting thing, things. As for the, as for the uh, team itself. So uh, I myself have been running you know, AI consulting firm for, like, for you know, a few years. Uh, I developed you know, such solutions for Fortune 500 companies. I even showed you, you know, that testimonial. That this oh, is... yeah, that's right. It, it makes sense because you, are, you run an AI consulting firm. So you exactly, bring that exactly. into the space. Okay, I totally forgot. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you know, you know, but I'm only one person. I, I know I'm not, you know, I, I'm not, uh, uh, let's say, uh, I'm not, 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 let's say, 100% uh, knowledgeable about everything. This sure, is why sure, sure. I have a guy, uh, I, I'm, you know, I'm more of, of, of a business person, not a technical one, but, you know, working in AI, I had, you know, to learn these things, you know, to talking with clients and so on. But we have also Adam, he's our, you know, head of AI. He's been previously uh, working at Google, you know, developing a different algorithm, uh, working on BERT and so on. Uh, we have also, you know, David. David is our uh, CEO. He has some cool networks, some, you know, experience from the, from the finance space, if you go to our website, you know, you can find my LinkedIn, David's LinkedIn, my website, you know, uh, you can just go through it. Uh, you have the white paper, uh, you know, the, the whole team is currently uh, seven people. Uh, so three members are core team. So uh, I, David, you know, uh, David, the CEO and Adam, head of AI. Uh, we have, we have uh, basically three employees. Uh, one is Irina. She's our marketing specialist, you know, much younger like, you know, in her early 20s, explaining to us, you know, boomers, like, things uh, about social media. Uh, we have, you know, we have Lucas, uh, he's our blockchain developer, uh, basically a freelancer, and we have Laura, she's our advisor. Uh, and I, I've uh, told you that, you know, seven people, because the guy from Capgemini is actually my employee at the moment. So I okay. want to, you know, I want to to take him away, you know, uh, yeah. from, from the project he's working on, uh, you know, currently, and just, you know, bring it, bring him to to this project because he's really uh he's really excited about the nlp nlp is like you know it's called natural language processing so basically you know proce processing the human language you know so this this is how we want to do that and to do this awesome you know. awesome so you got a team of seven you you have your own coin in pre-sale when does it go on pre-sale again uh so basically in two days it's wednesday 10 a.m eastern uh so okay two days oh, shoot yes. i need to hop on this okay <laughs> yeah, yeah man um, you're welcome uh yeah we we completed and, our private sale you know we had uh we had 870 bnb private sale we completed this within a couple of days uh two days ahead of schedule so you know currently you have chinese communities coming you know like south korean tomorrow you can check it yourself uh we'll have before even the pre-sale First thing, we'll have two audits, Solidity Finance, Tech Rate. Right. The, second, the second thing, the whole website and white paper, uh, they have been actually translated to Chinese, to Russian, to, to you know, South Korean. Great, so, great. Miss, you know, Pitbull, Mr. Worldwide, you know. <laughs> so, Mr. Worldwide, I got you. Okay, so yeah. you guys are only on BSC. You aim to earn, to jump to different uh, blockchains. Let me ask you something a little personal. How much, cool. how much of your own personal money have you invested into this project market moves? so before even raising uh, uh before even raising a private sale you know uh over 100k uh because wow. why you know uh you need to because we have a really cool team you know people really from top companies in the world they need to earn salaries they you know need to have something from this because from their perspective it's, it's a risk you know we also of had you know, some Web developers, graphic designers. So from our own money, um, basically the the uh, you know David David Lacroff was was the main investor. You know I put some money myself, uh, but he was the the main let's say mastermind, financial mastermind. 
Uh, you so know, a hundred thousand is not even the highest that someone else is. Someone else higher has, someone else has dropped in more. Uh, no, no, no. Just, just to clarify, uh, in total, before the private sale, you know, to get things going, you know, uh, we've invested like you know one hundred k, let's say one hundred and ten k, you know, something like this, uh, in the project. Uh, you know, yeah, and you know, at the moment, it's cool because um, the private sale was completed. You know, we have crazy marketing going on. You know. Chinese communities, as I've mentioned, you know, all around the world, uh, people joining, I think, right. you know, in, in, in like just over one week, uh, we were able to get uh, 4,000 organic, uh, you know, organic members in our Telegram group, uh, 6K followers on Twitter, you know, uh, how, how did we do that, you know, because, yeah. we, because it's crazy. So, you know, we use some, some marketing practices, you know, from, from let's say, different businesses, uh, we've okay, used good. we've used airdrop so you know uh, for for it's basically it's running for another 24 hours i don't know when this mm. video will be coming out but basically uh the airdrop, hours within yeah the, the the airdrop you know is uh the the whole let's say price uh is fifty thousand dollars in our tokens uh five percent awesome. of the total supply it's being invested you know so that people won't dump so 10 percent before the pre-sale then another you know two days later another 10 percent and so on but we you know what's cool is that we made it uh, that top three people have guaranteed win of uh, $5,000 uh, $5, each. You know, in lotteries, you have something, okay, maybe I can, you know, I can win if I have luck. Here, if you go with many points, many entries, you can win. And basically, it's all organic because we had Google Captcha, you know, we had some uh, remove duplicate IP addresses, bump spam them. blockers. Yeah. Yes. Spam blockers, you know, so all organic people, you know, from all around the world. It's great. So here, here's, here's where I'm at, uh, Michael, I'll tell you what, um, I've, re I really like this project. It's really interesting. Here's, here's my, here's my personal contention. I really liked Sonar. I loved it. I, I, I like, I, I, I made a lot of money off of it. I know one of the guys on there because because I <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, I uh, interviewed them before, but here's where I'm at honestly. And if so, and our guys are watching this, fine, feel free. I'm just talking freely here. Is that I am for my Bitcoin. I am for trying to get to two Bitcoin. I'm not on anyone's team out here, and I love competition. I love it. I absolutely love it when a when a, a, a project and a team come up with like a great idea and they're working hard on it and, it and and then another team comes up and they get a project going and they're like oh we could get this out earlier we could operate better it operates off of ai and it's all remains to be seen right because not both of you guys' projects are not out yet and now i'm not trying to create a war i'm not i'm just sure. i'm looking at it from an investor perspective i only have so much money i only have let's say a, a grand, two grand, a couple BNB to throw to throw at one of these projects, and I don't know who, which one's going to go. Maybe I'll throw at both and say, "Okay, I'm in both. I'm going to be good." So diversify, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, and I'll just diversify. Um, and so, as an investor, I'm like, I'm looking around and I see, I see, I I like what you're saying. I'm like, yeah, heck yeah, rules are bad. You know, <laughs> you know, like, and then, and maybe, and maybe I could get, yeah. I could, I, I could find out like a little more and I'd, I'd want to test out your platform yeah, and you. all of the above. Right. I, I want to be involved in, and I want to see your the progress. You know, I'm um, so, so, you know, yeah, yeah, sorry to interrupt, you know, but I'm yeah. so excited myself. I'm not even joking that I've been sleeping for like two hours a day <laughs> for the last two weeks because, you know, I love the community, their feedback, you know, people are getting involved, you know, and this is how we want to do this project. You know, okay, this, is, yeah. this is a standard practice release something some small things people you know give you feedback uh, you understand what they are they are actually looking for because you know uh, there are some uh, i i'm not perfect even in my business you know i've had some projects when you know uh where i was just you know developing you know i i'm calling this developing something in the basement you know for one year then going to the client okay man so this is so cool you know check it out and he was like man but let's change this let's change that so th this yeah. is why we want to do that but maybe i will talk uh, about one more thing which i think is really crucial because you know the whole ai platform is cool you know and everything but investors want to earn money you know this is you know this is simple uh, and people would ask us you know okay so how can you make sure that first of all people want them second of all that people will buy this token uh, third that people will hold so here's the thing the first thing is that to use our application to use specific features, you will have to hold specific number of tokens. 
this is nothing new, you know, this is also used in some different projects, but basically for features like pre pre-sale snipers, uh, there is no single pre-sale sniper out there, trust me. You just put a day sale, bam, you know, first nodes get, get activated, the pre-sale is done. You don't have pre -sale to- Pre-sale sniper. Exactly. That sounds, that sounds exactly. BA, dude, that sounds awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, you, it's really simple because the day sale, for example, has, you know, some uh, standard fields in the same places, you know, you could, no, we, we won't even use AI for this, you know, but basically uh, you just put this, bam, you have the, you have the pre-sale. But I think, uh, you know, and to be the first one in the queue, to be the fastest one, you will have to hold more tokens, you know. So this will be, a, and this feature is cool. Uh, the second thing is um, that basically the tokenomics is really cool. We tried to, you know, combine this AI platform, AI driven platform with cool tokenomics from other coins, which I liked, you know, with, uh, with Everrise, with some, you know, uh, safe moon, let's say, but we improve that. So uh, we have a buyback function, but it's called price protect, but it's not a simple buyback function. It's uh, based on volume. So it, you know, it watches, okay, if the volume is high, you know, uh, some whale dumps, uh, so probably more people would follow and the dump would get even bigger, you know? So then, you know, the price, get, the price protect uh, function gets activated it buys back the tokens based on volume. The second thing okay. is we have 9% reflections to holders, you know, uh, in total. Uh, and and the taxes, the taxes might seem high, you know, but this project is for years, literally, you know, I'm, I'm all in, you know, uh, I, I've been, you know, ignoring my company, basically the, the last, you know, couple, couple of weeks to, to focus on that, uh, you know, and basically, um, the, 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 the taxes, you know, the taxes are, you know, 12% buy, this is standard, 18% uh, sell. This might seem high, but there was this token I've mentioned to me, Doge. He, they had, you know, total taxes exactly the same. And within, I think, one week or like one and a half weeks, they were able to get, you know, to half a billion dollar market cap. And why? Uh, you know, because if you have taxes amounting to 30%, then swing traders just get wrecked. You know, you want to buy, sell, then buy again cheaper, then sell again. Bam, you know, you have 60 percentage points. Because they're looking, they're looking for 30%. They're looking for 10% gains to 30% gains. Yeah, I mean, that, but you know, it's, if, if you combine this, you know, if you combine this, let's say you, ha you need to have, uh, you need to hold our tokens to use the application. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing, you have reflections. Uh, the third thing, the token with each buyback, uh, the tokens are burned. So the token is hyper deflationary. And the last thing is, you know, uh, that basically there is this price protect function, which would, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it would, you know, prevent the dump because it's impossible, but it would, you know, mitigate uh, the, further, sure, sure. the further loss. Let's say, you know, you know how it goes. Uh, I've been investing myself, you know, on BSC. I know FOMO, I know FAR, you know, and something. A single whale can dump, you know, dropping the price 20%. People are just panicking. Man, this is going to zero. You know, people start selling. They see these huge red lines. And, you know, with yeah. this buyback mechanism, it will help. You know, it, of course, it won't prevent anything, you know, like uh, 100%. But it will definitely help. I get it. You know, yeah. to prevent this dump, to make it smaller, maybe even, you know, do some small pump. And yeah. people will be like, okay, a whale dumped, you know, but there's price protect function, you know, he won't be able to buy cheaper, you know. That's, yeah. that's the point. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I'm for, yeah, you got your price protect. You got the more t uh, coins you hold, the more features you unlock. You have a reflex system and you have the tax 18, 12 system, 30, about, about 30% about total. Cool, cool. Yeah, so, yeah. 12, 12, 18. Yeah. So 12% yeah, 12, buy 18, and 18% yeah. 18 sell. Yeah. So I'm I'm all in. I'm especially all in for pre-sale. I really am. Like I really want a piece of this. Um, And look, if you you're know, watching, if you're watching you know guys. You know what's cool? Yes, so, sorry, sorry, man, to interrupt you, but you know, you know what's cool? I'm really excited for this because for the pre-sale, we'll have a pre-sale on DAX sale, but uh, we because DAX sale is basically a decentralized application, so you can mm -hmm. create your own pre-sale based on DAX sale, and we'll have a custom front end on the pre-sale, looking you know different than all these oh, okay. other other coins. So no copies, you know, people can copy us, you know as many and do as many copies as they want, but you know, we'll look different. We'll have the custom front end based on the sale. So no, just, just another small thing uh, to, to help people not get, not get scammed, you know, I'm so I'm really excited. If, if you're watching this video with me, right? 
uh, and let me pause this, Michael, between you and me. I, I want to talk to someone who's watching here. Uh, this this cowboy, just interested. We have to we have to use our little lizard brains, right? We have to think. Okay, what what we got here is an opportunity to make people's lives better with an with a superior um, um, platform uh, that is that is hitting the markets and that it's got some competition and it's differentiating differentiating itself with a with an AI based um, system. All of this stuff I think could be duplicated. I think it's awesome, but I think it could be duplicated except for this AI thing. So I'm interested. I'm really interested and I'm definitely in. Um, and I'm excited about, about the future of, of market move. I'm excited about the future of crypto in general. I think this does a lot for um, beginning level investors like myself. I'm, I'm just, I'm brand new to the space. I'm like maybe six months into this thing. So I'm excited uh, and, and I really, uh, I'm really intrigued by this, especially from, from, uh, from, my background with sonar and my background with uh and my lack of background with crypto so i'm excited and i'm not trying to like put you guys against each other i'm saying I'm, i've got i've got multiple things to look at here so yeah uh if, you got to do your own research cowboy you got you got to do your own re- go to their website links are all in the description go check out their stuff go check out their telegram join the telegram do all that kind of stuff um and and, and really dive deep into it because i'm not your financial advisor we're not financial advisors here okay so you can't sue us uh, we're just we're just doing an interview here. We're just chatting here uh, and then passing along the knowledge. Look, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you one last question, Michael, and then we're gonna close this thing. Why should I invest in in Market Move in you guys amongst all other cryptocurrency coins or projects out there? Before you answer that question, look. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for, for being here with us. Be sure to check out the Telegram, the Saloon. You always got to be around some other cowboys that are talking and and you know market trends and new coins and all this kind of stuff. You have to be in a community, especially when you're trading. Don't do it by yourself. Don't wander the wild west by yourself. Join the Cowboys. Anyway, back to you, Michael. Last bit. Hey, why? One last question. If someone's watching this video, give us one last stitch effort. Why should we invest in market move? Okay. Yes. So yeah, first of all, you know, also thank you guys for watching. You know, uh, this is a whole new thing for me, you know, to, to, to do this on YouTube. I really like this interview. Uh, we are not going to war with anyone, uh, in my personal opinion, you know, and the, the opinion of the team. There is space for every, you know, for every, you know, legit project because, you know, that the, the whole space is so fresh. You know, uh, you know, it's yourself. Goldman Sachs, for example, accepted uh, Bitcoin as an asset. You know, they so so the whole the whole space is evolving. But as uh, you know, answering the question, why should you invest in market? So you know, first of all, this is li- literally the first project. Using AI on the on the uh, AI, on the BSC space, uh, helping investors really understand what they are doing and uh, you know why they are doing this, minimizing risk. The second thing here, uh, I think that in the project the team is really important. Here you have guys you know from top companies in the world, Docs team, who have proven that you know they did some uh, they did the same thing in their own business. You know, running for like you know a couple of years. Uh, Cool tech- tokenomics, big reflections, you know, price protect function, and so on. And the last thing, the application itself, you know. Uh, so, so we'll be able, with, you know, taking all this into consideration combined. So, I, I think you'll really be able to, you know, not really make some good money because uh, I think the initial market cap of this will be like three or three to five million dollars. So, you know, on BSC, let's be honest, that's that's not a big market cap. So, you can have some cool gains, but you can actually support a project which will not only help you uh, make some money, but you know which will help you invest on a daily basis in a more informed decision. No, and well, that's, this is- that's what I love about it. I love it'll help so many people invest on a daily basis. You know, like that, that's the biggest thing for me. I, I'm always looking for projects now that hey, how how many lives is this helping? And so and and, and I'm I'm excited about it for that reason. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm I'm excited as well. The whole team has been working, you know, really hard. Basically, you know, overnight coding some things in the contract. Uh, they made sure because we promised people that we will have two audits coming before the pre-sale. Uh, we already paid, you know, Solidity Finance to do this. Um, you know, so the the contract at this very moment it's Monday uh, evening here in the in the in Europe. So basically, it's being analyzed at this very moment. So. No, I'm really, I'm really excited, you know, to bring this, this knowledge, you know, from different spaces, you know, from different backgrounds to the BSC, which is the Wild West now, but, you know, not for long, man, not for long. Yeah, right. 
Anyway, thanks so Ooh. much, Michael, for uh, for telling us about Market Move. That, guys, guys, you got to check this video. Check this. Uh, check the description out. Check out their uh, their project. Anyway, don't overthink things, guys. Just do the simple research. Just go into and take action. Lizard brains, gorilla arms, diamond hands. We'll see you guys on the moon. Yeah. Thank you very much.